गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे आई एम हियर विद अ न्यू चैप्टर ऑफ क्लासेस सेवन इन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर अ ट्रिप टू कोलकाता दिस इज द लेसन सेवन अ ट्रिप टू कोलकाता सो इन दिस चैप्टर यू विल गेट टू नो हाउ द ट्रैवलिंग इज यूजफुल टू इंक्रीज आवर नॉलेज एंड इज द बेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ एजुकेशन इट हेल्प्स अ पर्सन नो सो मेनी थिंग्स अबाउट लाइफ इजली एंड जॉयफुली so when we will go or we will visit any places so while staying there we know about that places so in this chapter you will get to know about kolkata the train with a loud sound reached at howrah station raj got down with his parents and younger brother ramesh they hired a taxi and now they are on their own way to jodhpur park and this was their first visit to kolkata as raj grandparents had settled down in kolkata when his grandfather retired a year back raj and ramesh watched a crowd of people hurrying past vehicles crawling by as their taxi moved ahead suddenly Ras see the Howrah bridge and it is very huge bridge and he tells to his father look such a huge bridge his father ratnesh viswas tells his children about the howrah bridge that it is built on river hugli and the howrah bridge was open to traffic in 1943 it was officially called the rabindra setu after the name of the famous poet rabindranath tagore after that their mother meeta say that the days we will stay here we will go or visit too many places in kolkata after howrah bridge they crossed the eden gardens their mother showing them by pointing towards the famous stadium that this is the eden garden since you love cricket you must have watched many matches on tv being played here that so many matches held in this stadium raj and ramesh shouted oh this is the real eden garden can we play here so their mother tells no you cannot play here but let me tell you about this eden garden it was established in 1864 it is one of the biggest cricket stadiums in asia many international matches are also played here and the stadium is the site for holding indian premier league matches too so as their mother tells them about eden garden when it was established and it is also biggest cricket stadium in asia and so many international matches and also indian premier league that is known as ipl matches are played here then the children look this stadium in a very excitement mood as the taxi moved on and next what they crossed the victoria memorial on their way their father ratnesh viswas tells his children now we will come here tomorrow where he will come tomorrow in this place the victoria memorial raj was very impressed and very excited he said what is that his father tells him it is called the victoria memorial and after that they reached at home and their grandparents were very happy after seeing them they greeted each other warmly ratnesh and meeta asked about their health 
then grandma brought delicious sweets for them and tells them that i especially got this traditional sweets of bengal for you all you will like the rasgullas and sandes so now everyone they are enjoying this bengali sweets traditional sweets that is rasgullas and sandes then they all had fish curry and steamed rice for lunch and this traditional delicious preparation made by their grandma the day passed quickly and they planned to go out for dinner so everyone enjoyed egg rolls and mughlai paratha followed by ice cream raj and ramesh were very happy to see a tram they all went for a ride in the tram and returned home quite late so next day when they planned to go out for dinner they enjoyed they ate egg rolls and mughlai paratha and also they enjoy by riding on a tram and after that they returned home so the next day they planned to go or to visit the victoria memorial the majestic structure is at one end of kolkata maidan a vast a very big urban park in the middle of the kolkata their grandma explained them that or tells them about the victoria memorial that it is officially called the victoria memorial hall and it is a memorial that is dedicated to queen victoria who is the empress of india during the british rule and it is a major tourist attraction and serves as a museum also so in this victoria memorial hall lots of tourist visit there and also it serves as a museum where it has pictures and statues of a famous person who played an important role in the history of our country so you can see in this victoria memorial hall the statue of famous persons who played an important role in the history of our country and so many precious things also it has and it is this victoria memorial is made of white marble and at a at its top a bronze angel is there as you can see in this pic also it was opened in 1921 now everyone after getting this knowledge everyone admired or praises this victoria memorial building after that they took a keen interest in all that was on display whatever is inside the victoria memorial hall the statues the pictures they are enjoying they are watching this and they are very interested they have in to see this after that ramesh smiled and said that i like it now after that the family went to kolkata maidan and they relaxed over there and after that they watched group of children and elders who is who are playing cricket next they visit the billa planetarium as they settled down comfortably in their seats raj says This planetarium is also called Tara Mandal. I read in my GK book. As he got the knowledge in his GK book that this planetarium is also known as Tara Mandal, and it is the largest planetarium in Asia and the second largest planetarium in the world. After that, his brother Ramesh says, "Just see the stars." grandfather says yes as the inner surface of the dome above us becomes darker we will be able to see more stars and constellations now after that everyone be quiet and they listen all the detailed 
about the stars planets and outer space and they finally they enjoyed this program and they found this very interesting very knowledgeable and they came back home happily at that night their grandparents tells them a story funny stories or fairy tales stories before the children went to bed next morning they all are too tired to go out so only their parents decided to go new market one of the oldest market of kolkata for shopping and the other the children and the their grandparents has decided to stay at home his mother meeta bought a beautiful cotton sarees for herself for her for their grandma and for her best friend who is in jaipur kolkata is famous for these cotton sarees their father ratnesh bought some beautiful things decoration terracotta items to give to his friends and a carved walking stick for his father so grandma and grandpa feel very touched very happy and also bless them for this gift in the afternoon they went for a ride on the metro train the children were very happy while riding in metro train he asked why do so many people travel by the metro grandfather tells them people can travel safely and comfortably by the metro it is very clean and inexpensive so kolkata Re- metro rail is the first underground railway station in india so this kolkata metro rail is the first underground railway st- system in india now while riding metro all the children were very excited and also want to repeat this trip but it is not possible because it was getting late so they decided to return home so next morning they all left for the station after saying goodbye to the grandparents and their parents ratnesh and meeta tells them that they will visit other places in kolkata during their next trip so this is the story with a difficult words just go through this story i hope it is understood for everyone just listen this video if you have any problem anywhere you can ask during online class thank you have a nice day